Hello Sagittarius, this is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net for December 2018, the last month of the year. And it has been one tremendously fast month, well, year, tremendously fast year, and very exciting as well. That's a nice way of saying it. Okay, let's see. So I'm trying something new. Let's see if we can manage that. I've been having little... Little ups and downs. Okay, control. That was the first card I pulled for you, Sagittarius. And the control is not something that on a spiritual level we truly want to carry with us. We want to allow things to happen. We want to be, we want to be empowered by them, but we don't want to control as a general rule. And it's, it's the rigidity of the word that is uh, the comment, because we do want things to be smooth and comfortable. But control is not how we would like it to move. So let's see what that has to do with you, Sagittarius. Um, the first card that covers you is hmm, nine. Nine of... Uh, Nine of Wands, and again for me, this card is the most, the worst card in the deck. I'd rather have the Tower or the Devil card before I get this card. But it also suggests that you're coming to the end of what's causing you deep hurt or anguish or depression. The, it's the coming to the end of all that. And what covers it? Yes, it is exactly what I was reading. This is the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is receiving your reward after having put in a great deal of effort. And if you know anything about ballerinas, they work so very hard to become stars. They, they work for hours and hours until they are exhausted. But this is also... <laughs> being allowed to be in the limelight. And it's money card too, which is always a plus. But you're being, people are acknowledging you for what you have put in. So what what is the basis? Is that you're moving out of what has been your basis into something brand new and exciting. That is always a plus. And what's behind you? That's the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands suggests that you've got a lot of more information come to light recently or, or in the past, and now you've had time to digest it. And that is why things are starting to shift and change for you, because you've internalized what you've learned. It's also a young man who, who wants to help, be good and protective, but mostly it's the energy, and the energy is the potential for wisdom. And what's below us? So this just happened recently. And this is the world. And the world is, well, you can see it's very dynamic. But this is the spiritual world. This is not the physical world. So it's just recently a new vista has opened up. And if you've been involved for eons and eons or years and years, a new vista has just opened up for you. More energy is coming through for you. You are birthing a new idea. You've got a lot of things in your aura that want your attention. Pick and choose. Off, there's ways of doing it. Take the least important and deal with it until you have only the most important to deal with. Or start at the top and work down. But the least important, they're easy to deal with and get rid of. And then you have that much less weight to deal with. There's a lot of energy coming into you. You have a lot of thoughts. You're probably not sleeping well. That's all, that, Or you wake up at 3 o'clock and don't get back to sleep till 4 or 5. Just time to go to, to wake up. That's a lot of shifting and changing in who you are. That's the base shifting for you. So that's just what's happened. What's immediately in your future is the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles as a human is uh, somebody who likes things nice and, and wonderful and 
balanced and he likes to come home to to apple apples pie and uh, steak and mashed potatoes kind of person depending i mean it might be something totally different in a different culture but it's a mashed potato type of guy he likes money he likes the good things not a bad person at all but as an energy and with you if if there's a if you're looking for somebody congratulations he's coming but as an energy this is a person this is an energy that allows you to to accept into your life the comforts that you have needed and haven't had it's time for you to it's time for you to uh, to know that you have the right the power and the right to be comfortable in your own life and in your own skin. So this is what's coming in front of you. What covers you, or will not covers you, but will be coming up in the, the future, is that you have the you will be able to deal with all the crap that people throw at you and telling you that they're right and you should do it their way, because you're. With this shift and this change, you're going to do it your way. And with this, in the future, you're going to be able to say, yeah, no, I can handle my own self, thank you, and I appreciate your interest, but this is my way, and my way is correct for me. It may not be a social norm. It may be something out of the norm. That is why you will be receiving a lot of Hey, what are you doing? That's not right. But you ignore it if you can. If you can't, then you just tell them, Hey, this is my life. Admit it. Admit it. It's my life. And there will always be somebody there who really loves you a lot and is trying to fix you. Ignore them because you can't be fixed because there's nothing broken. And Ten of Pentacles. This is something also that's in your energy. It's a great deal of support. And there's, it's a money card too, which is also awesome. Money is always an awesome thing in our society. Unfortunately, we need money. But it is support. It is support from the ancestors, which is probably the best support you can get. Guides, angels, family that have passed over. And maybe even some of the family that is living now. It's also a shift in energy. There's a dynamic shift occurring in your family. or And family can be people who you simply love. But there's a vortex of energy that's shifting and changing for you. And this is all actually extremely positive. Change is often misconstrued as painful, but it isn't necessary. So we've got the uh, King of Pentacles. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles. And she too likes things to be beautiful and wonderful the way she wants them to be. But as an energy, she is confident and powerful. And this is what you're looking at. You are becoming this confident, strong, powerful energy, which it's exactly what I've been saying all along through the reading. You are becoming a powerful person. Energy. Let's see what's next. Okay, the last card because can't get better than this. The Empress. When the Empress comes. It means you're shifting into a new way of thinking, a new thought form where you have a working relationship with your subconscious. You have admitted that you're powerful and you have the right to be that person, that powerful energy. And that powerful energy does not step on other people. It doesn't have to because you know you're strong and empowered on your own. This is, this is who you're moving into and the energy you're pulling with you. It is also a card of abundance in all forms, love food, nice things, and more than importantly, in spirituality. Because if you've got your spirituality and you're comfortable with it and you can grow within it, everything comes to you. So the last card is, ta-da, take the lead. So let go of control 
and simply allow things to flow into into you for and you will automatically take the lead and I'm not honestly knowing a lot about Sagittarius I don't have a lot of Sagittarian people in my life but I bet you you're really good at being leaders so try that and enjoy your life because it is obviously going to get better namaste